Follow me. I will show you New Eden? Hold up. Is it finally happening? And uh, the National Park. What, what is going on here? Find out who these people are. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to hear who these people are. What what new location did we just unlock? Is he like the cult leader? They create justice with their hands. Their power is the only thing that helps us rid of the disagreeable, free-thinking heretics. We have yet another heretic here today. We'll destroy him in honor of the Enlighteners. Bury the fool. Oh, Rust just marked that dude, and we are getting it. The entire village is attacking us. Speaking of update, then we are continuing to check out. We are back. Our brand new buildings over here in the settlement that we have built up. Our hard at work creating some of the brand new resources that we are going to need as we continue expanding this thing. As y'all can see, the main two ones that we've got going. We are creating iron billets, billets, and some pine beams that we are going to be using. But today, we are embarking upon the cliffhanger that we left off on just last episode. If y'all do not recall, Act 2 is well underway. And so far, we have done quite a little bit of work if y'all see chapter two and chapter three have been completed if y'all have not seen those videos be sure to click on the bubble that's popping up right now like near the top or like the corner of the screen to go ahead and check those out and see as we have built up our settlement and recruited all these mercenaries to help us on expeditions but today we set off on chapter four which apparently is going to unlock the ability to uh, supply electricity and water throughout our settlement also almost like upgrading it to like a whole new level and that's gonna begin with a glimpse of hope it turns out Murphy has a daughter or he had let's hope we'll find her I feel so sorry for him I'm gonna try and help him after all the family is the most important thing we got three missions though we'll be able to go ahead and knock out today so without further ado let's speak to the officer unbelievable Chris from the port got in touch did he now he says he's found raiders in the woods and my daughter's stuff is there what if they got her I know where they are okay follow me it's time to practice some shooting <laughs> I like shooting, especially when it's A, zombies, or B, raiders. Star, what's with your grudge? Well, first off, zombies are constantly trying to eat my brains. I don't know about you, I like my brain in my noggin, all right? Not being in another zombie's stomach. Number two, the raiders. I love, ooh, just look at that ability to upgrade that quarter is to level two. I'm gonna just try, I mean, we're uh, crafting up the resources to do this. Uh, we're gonna have to get some antennas, maybe from like some expeditions. Uh, so I'm not gonna be dropping those $20 right now, but uh, you know, push comes to shove, maybe I will, because y'all know me, and we also gotta go over here uh, to the pine bushes. Uh, y'all know me whenever it does come, it's the last day on Earth. We are absolutely pulling out all the stops and doing everything possible to go out and show off every single freaking thing that that there is within an update so make sure you are subscribed with that notification bell to stay in the loop as we continue covering the producers out of the new mercenary uh, settlement expedition all this jazz update not to mention the Christmas event was also included in this update. It just has not begun yet. When it begins, we'll be checking that out on the absolute ASAPs as well. All right, I'm talking ASAP. Bro. Oh my God, freeze, stay away from here. They're bombing me, get cheap, believer. Go around and attack them from the side. Those are massive explosions, dude. Goodness gracious, you're just in time. Need your help. I, 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 I kind of want to like zoom, dude. I, I can't remember the last time I've seen explosions this freaking big in last day on Earth. Look at that thing go. Can I just like dodge that or something? Can I like, uh, I, I, uh, I kind of want to dodge through there, but also I'll do what he said. I'll just take the long way around, man. I'll do that. We got to get rid of uh, some raiders. Happy to oblige. We are going the sneaky deaky way right here. Might be able to get some sneak attacks on. Oh my God, he's in like hazmat gear. I've never seen a raider like this before. Let's chop him in half. And what the heck is going on? What is with this radioactive woods? All right, if we're gonna be dealing with the raiders, I'm sorry, but listen, we are bringing out a little bit of pistol drizzle and some of the heavy duty your weapons, because I feel like uh, the push is definitely gonna have to become a shove here in the not too distant future. There's a gear icon in that corner. Bunch of dead bodies? I, I have so many questions about what's going on, but uh, I'm just gonna try and take out this fellow over here that is launching all of these grenades. Boom! He is down and with that, let's go and mow down. There are a lot of freaking raiders over here trying to take us down. Man, this is this is like a massive entire like a raider camp. Oh, you already know what we gotta do. I think it's only right that we bring out a little bit of <laughs> shotgun rain. I thought the other guy was gonna follow up behind him. I guess he, 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 he this is a smart raider. He waited his turn to die. But you know what? You're dying nonetheless. That was a waste of the shotgun rain active ability though. Definitely a bit of a bummer there. But you know what? That's right. We will live really quickly. What is in this destroyed barbecue? Is there anything good? It's chilling up in here by chance? Yes. No, maybe yeah, a little bit of raw meat. Blah, blah, blah. I'll go ahead and gobble that down on the lickety split and then make our way over into this barrel. Luke has set up the barrels, take the covers off and run away. If rust injected stimulants, he won't survive? 
What does that mean? What, what does Rust have to do with all of this that's going on? And why would he inject stimulants like in, into this? I don't know. Yellow shotgun rain. Some state drop the rain. This field the pain. Shotgun rain. And we go ahead and take those schmucks down. Dude, this place is absolutely just kerfuffled. What is happening? And oh, who is this guy? Bloody cultists again. Excellent. The more of you come at me, the faster you will disappear. Uh, uh, I can deal all of you blooded creatures. Chemicals, they make him feel work. Take him to the barrels. Oh my God, he's so freaking fast. I gotta take him to the barrels. Oh my God, look at that. If he's by the barrels, he doesn't even move. I don't know what's happening, but it appears like the barrels are his weakness. Do I just have to like bring him to like more barrels or something like that? Well, it's telling me to bring them over here to some barrels on the minimap, so I'm gonna do that. And the barrels are just, look at that. Look at that, his weakness is the barrels. And uh, our pistol drizzle less broken, so we just gotta bring him over here in the last corner. Who the heck is this Tom guy? Uh, goodbye. Uh, gah, what a, I, I, I don't know what, what, what's going on. Are you dead or you're gonna lose anyway? Oh, he's very dead. Can I loot you? Dude, you got some pretty cool armor on you there. X marks the spot on the mini-map, but I guess I can't loot him. That is sad. Whatever. Let's return to Chris. Leave me. I can handle it. Search the camp. Yeah, what the heck happened here? Uh, better find the leader of their gang. He went to the northeast. Now go? Wait. Could this be Rust? Or is, is Rust a part of this whole conspiracy? Or was Rust, like, trying to save us from this? I have so many freaking questions. I don't know. And also, I see a yellow dot on the minimap, which means, is this guy gonna be good or bad? Oh my goodness. Well, what's in this book? List of items, woman, 25 years old, one piece, man, 34 years old, two pieces, woman, 60 years old, one piece, man, 45 year old, three pieces, a girl, 13 year old, one piece, Frank, men are 1.5 times more expensive than women, sell the girl for half the price. What the heck? Were they running like some sort of like a uh, human trafficking ring here or something, dude? What the heck? And also, the return of the cultists, dude. Last time we saw the cultists was, I believe, what was the last time we had, like, a story season? Like, the story, well, like, season, like, 26, season 25, where uh, we were, like, helping uncover, like, the armored bus. Whatever the heck's going on, it appears like the cultists are making uh, some sort of return. Dude, you again, why are you following me? Uh, come to my senses. I, I will. Can you hear howling? The wolves can smell you. Bro, Rust, you gotta stop being a douche canoe. I don't think we'll see each other again. Are, am I gonna get swarmed by wolves all of a sudden? There's a turkey. Hello, turkey. How you doing? Wait, I gotta fight off the wolves? Ah, oh, that's right. Just a few disease wolves. I could go ahead and take those down. Easy, busy, lemon, squeezy. Uh, I guess I can search up the picnic basket or picnic table and see what this had in store for us. But, bro, what the heck is happening with all this type of jazz? Is there anything else in this camp of interest? Just more dead people. Poor guy was shot in the head. No one seemed to want to let him go. And that looks like a cultist. So... Was was Rust over here? Like, is he like, is Rust hunting down these cultists or what's happening? I I can't tell if Rust is the good guy that just doesn't want to cooperate with us or if he's the bad guy. I feel like he might be a good guy because like, he's one of the mercenaries we could recruit down the line. I don't know. My baby's not here. Where could she be? I don't know. Where could she be? Oh, more dead wolves. Is everyone okay, Chris? You good? Let us help you now. Yeah, let's help you out a little bit. Thanks for coming, guys. No problem. Happy to help you out. A mission complete. Find out how to supply the settlement with electricity so that means we've got but two more missions to go before this chapter is nice and complete as well i'll go ahead and claim that reward thank you very kindly and turns out that connor's workbenches have to be powered how am i supposed to connect it i'm no electrician it's a good thing connor slash friends who know how to do this all we have to do is find them so i gotta i i need to like find people to power the settlement hmm well, these are questions that I'm sure we'll get answered as soon as we make our way back into our boy Connor. So, to the world map! Da -da 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 -da. We'll start making our way back over there. And as we are doing that, I want to make sure that y'all make your way over to Twitch TV slash Star Side. We're live here, so Friday at 6 p.m. since I played last night. Earth, having a ball, having a blast. Live streaming with the face cam on and the live chat roll, making for a super awesome experience for those of y'all who that might be a little bit different from the usual YouTube content that y'all are used to on top of being bonus content as well. So, hopefully, I do see you boys and girls over there because it is always an awesome time that we are having every single Friday. I played some Blast Down Earth, having a ball. Y'all can interact with the stream live as it's going on. I can read the chat. Y'all can see my face, my reactions, those things are going on. If you don't know what time that starts, your local times on twitch.tv slash star slash schedule. We'll be able to go ahead and help you out. Also, a link at the top of the description and in the pinned comment. That's going to be very handy because time zones can definitely be confusing. I totally agree with that. But also, there's a quick little notice. Uh, what you recall, there is one day that we're not going to be streaming December 16th. 
which is going to be the upcoming Friday. There is not going to be a stream. I'm going to be out of town. I might try to do a makeup stream maybe before or after. So just make sure that y'all go ahead and follow uh, the Twitch account that we have. And hopefully y'all will be notified about any sort of makeup stream that we may or may not do. Otherwise, we'll be back the very next week having, the, having some fun, having a blast. And also, a huge Last Day on Earth giveaway is going to be happening as well. We just hosted a $25 giveaway this past Friday, uh, which is awesome. Love being able to get back to the community. And there's going to be an even bigger, huge giveaway where there are going to be multiple winners being chosen throughout the stream with and tons of in-game Last Day on Earth prizes that will be able to be sent directly to your account. So definitely stay tuned uh, for that. But all right, we got to go and meet Connor and see what is up. Connor, you are not looking amused. The powerful workbenches won't work without power. Oh, well, it has power in the powerful world. I, I would hope so. They're not easy to construct, but Lemmy certainly knows how to do it. Look for him at the port. Oh, we're making our way to Lemmy. Hey, Lemmy's the uh, one mercenary, extremely rare mercenary or very rare mercenary that we've unlocked so far. Also, what good loot do I have in here? I've got a few iron billets. Um, No pine beams. I've already taken those out. I am going to have to get some more antennas, dude, uh, if we want to... Uh, what is it? We needed five antennas. I forget exactly for what recipe, but there was a recipe that does require five antennas for us to... I think upgrade the headquarters might be what it was. So I might honestly need to make a few trips back to the factory. I haven't been to the factory in a while, but uh, hey, that's a problem for another day. All right, let's go ahead and take this day and make our way over into the port where our friend, our pal Lemmy, is going to be awaiting us. Now, all right, we got a little icon over here on the minimap leading us to our boy Lemmy, who has some turrets set up. I know that, man, because he's been setting up those turrets when we were uh, also love the kicking music over here, but he's been setting up those turrets whenever he's been going out expedition so what up lemmy hey get out of the way you're blocking the view you're keeping me from assembling portable turrets i gotta go with him to the quarry you need help with the wiring no problem but first let's try out these turrets what are we gonna try it out on better not be me where, where are we going lemmy what's going on here uh that's a great place for tests let's go there by boat yo we get to go by boat so you don't need okay so we're, we literally instantly teleport to the sand quarry you don't even need your own boat built to make your way over it that's really interesting i would have not expected the sand quarry to get roped in uh to chapter four here but we'll make our way over there is lemmy gonna be setting up some of those portable portable uh, turrets of his because if so i feel like well, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with them also while we're here I'll, I'll get some seaweed dude these are gonna help us out with some laboratory runs always happy to go ahead and claim those and we also have a little uh little something a shovel I did not bring a shovel. Oh, all right. So heads up to y'all. Whenever y'all do come to this location, bring a shovel because there is something that you can dig up over here that unfortunately I don't have the shovel for. That's obnoxious. Whatever. What's up, Lemmy? How's it going? Move it. You have to work fast here. Uh, I got to fight off some zombies. That's all right. I'm pretty good at that. Are you going to set up those turrets to like automatically do it? Now, zombies from all over the island will rush to the noise, but the turrets will protect us. Where are these turrets you speak? Oh, there you go. Oh no, this junk broke. You fight off and I'm gonna fix it. All right, I'll get to find out some of these bloodthirsty pests, which are not the most difficult zombies that we can encounter. So we should be okay. I've run out of parts. There's some old equipment down there. Go look for parts. All right, I'll go look for some parts. Can I find like a shovel too while we're at it? I love how we left some parts at his freaking backpack. Like you could have you just brought those. Come on, Levy. Come on, I need you to be on top of your game here, bud. Uh, we got a, another freaking, sh another thing that the shovel would have been perfect for. I see that, that is obnoxious, man. I wish I knew that we had to bring a shovel, uh, to dig up some of this stuff. Cause that'd be super handy, but I just unfortunately do not have access to a shovel right now, man. That is annoying. Uh, anyway, I mean, hopefully this is a quarry, man. Maybe there's a shovel hidden somewhere in some sort of loot. Anyways, I'm just trying to make our way over to, oh, there's some chests over here. Oh, some bloodthirsty pests eating these dudes. Did you drop? This guy looks like he might have a shovel. Bury everything you stole on the island. Some near the pier and some in the large glade. Just keep quiet. There's zombies everywhere. Bro, you better have a freaking shovel in here, my guy. Let's go! I knew they wouldn't do me that dirty. We got the freaking shovel that we needed. I don't think that we need the iron pickaxe, but I'll grab it just in case. And I'm going to start digging up these things. They're all over the island. And listen, if we got to dig for them... Okay, I may have overestimated how good the loot might be. I definitely expected a little bit better than that, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and dig these up because I have found at least a few of these so far. And continue uh, to be uh, disappointed. That is so annoying. Also, why are there two freaking boats here? What the heck? Is one of these like the Raiders boat or is one of those like my boat? I don't know. Is the fact that I, I I have no idea why there's two boats here. I know I built a boat, so maybe they just like spawned into this location for some reason. I'm not entirely sure, but you know what? That's okay. Let's make our way over to this little thing right over here. Hello, hello. And that should be the last parts that we need to go ahead and get these turrets done. 
Really quickly though. Before we make our way back to Lemmy, I want to see what else, if there might be any other chests scattered about throughout the map that we can dig up. Because listen, man, I ain't leaving no stone unturned. If they, I mean, the first two chests, incredibly disappointing, but yo, they might get better, you know? Uh, I gotta have a little bit of hope. But all right, I think we've, oh, hold up. There's one chest over here. Aha, I was about to give up because I didn't see anything for a while, but no, we got one chest here and then there should be one more pile of dirt we can dig up a little bit closer to the turret. Uh, but I mean, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look like you're missing out on anything incredible if you don't take the time to dig these up. I mean, obviously a few spare parts here and they're always handy, always can come in handy, but you know, nothing like really out of this park unless this is, no, I mean, yeah, nothing like out of this world. It's just, you know, all right stuff. Anyway, what up, let me, I got some parts for you, my boy. It works, I get ready of this baby. He's about to kill these zombies. You wanna do all the killing? Can I just like sit back, relax? Chillax a little bit, my dude. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys do the work here. Oh, there are a lot of zombies though. Okay, and they are all coming after me. Come on, why don't you zombies grab to the people shooting you? I'm not complaining though, I'll take it. They'll return soon, now run to the boat so we don't get surrounded. Why'd you have to test this out on this island? Oh, you're gonna have this, uh, are they, is he setting this up? This music is like the perfect soundtrack for this too. Oh no, they've got spitches. We definitely wanna heal a little bit and not take too much damage there. I do, some of the zombies' bodies are like glitching out after they die, it's like kind of hilarious. Oh goodness gracious, I have lost my pantalones. Where are my shoes too? Oh no, I'm getting way more naked than I expected. Wow, I shoot just like the good old days. Uh, now nah, I'm ready to help you. I'll meet you there. All right. Uh, I will try to find some pants in the meantime as well. I, I don't think I don't think any of us want to see me without these pantalones, my friend. Let's make our way back to the port, and then I imagine he's gonna uh, come help us out with uh, with going back to base. And then we are going to have to. We've kind of like interacted with it in the past. Repair the generator that we have back at the settlement. I should I. I should have enough parts for it. I, I don't think there's gonna be an issue with that. Um, I gotta get some shoes or something, man. I am so naked right now. Whatever. It's, you know why? It's all calculated. It's because it's a little bit toasty outside and I just wanted to let the legs breathe. You know, let, let just get some air up in there and just make sure that everything's nice and ventilated. It's that liquid cooling. It's that, uh, actually, I don't think there's any liquid involved, but you know what I mean, man. It's like, you know, you got, you got to install a cooling system into your PC or whatever. Uh, yeah, I just installed a all natural cooling system into my underwear to, <laughs> to keep nice and ventilated. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Back to the settlement. Oh, hello. We like instantly arrived there. I've got the magic touch, dude. I've got the Midas touch. As soon as I said that, we just instantly got there, even though we had like 15 more seconds to go. We ain't playing no games. Well, technically we are. We're playing Last Day Honors, but we ain't playing no metaphorical games. Just literal games. All right, let's see where this quest line leads us to next. We got to speak. Into Lemmy. Where is Lemmy? Oh, he is over here. Hello, Lemmy. How you doing? It's a half hour job. Just don't mix up the wires. We got to construct a generator. It works. They can power all the workbenches. We got an electric cable blueprint. Okay. Okay. So I got to construct a generator. Is that going to be found here? Power. Yeah. Okay. So I. Okay. I kind of thought we would have to repair this thing, but. Um. I guess not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess we don't have to. We can just go ahead and construct a normal old generator. We should. I don't think I have the motor oil for that, so I might just try to construct a small generator to get started here. I definitely got the billets. I should have some cables, and I should have some sheaves and then rubber parts besides that. So we should be able to construct that uh, with just some parts uh, from here because, yes, sir, we got some billets right there. Plenty of sheaves. Uh, plenty of sheaves. Uh, I'll grab some... I don't think I need rubber hose, but I'll grab those just in case. I might need some aluminum cable. That's made on the montage table. I don't have a montage table. Why am I making a montage? What is this, Call of Duty? Oh, you know what? We might be able to get some here from the free daily loot that we get every day. Um, okay, I'm not seeing the cables that I was looking for. I will definitely go ahead and claim that. Thank you very kindly. Uh, can we expect any of those cables here in like any of the upcoming levels? No, where, where that, okay. We can get six actually from level 17. Okay. Interesting, but you know what because y'all definitely want to see this absolutely ASAP and not wait for us to have to complete the next seven expedition levels Went ahead 
inflicted a little bit of pain on my bank account and got some stuff uh, from the store. And we should have actually more than enough aluminum cable to go ahead and uh, cover the difference. I mean, we're gonna have to do the expedition levels anyway, but for the sake of trying to show off absolutely as much as possible, absolutely as soon as possible, we're gonna be good to go. Now, where can I place this? This has to be placed apparently outside. Um, so I guess I will put it, uh, I'll just put it right there for now. Boom. Right there. And that thing has to get powered by something. And, oh, we just finished another mission. Find out what's going on in New, in New Eden? Hold up! The mythical New Eden that we've never actually, like, physically visited, but continue to hear about? Where are, where, where is this chapter going to take us? Because I don't know if y'all noticed, we are currently on the last mission of this chapter and there is 11 steps uh i have no clue whether there's a connection between the officer's missing daughter and the people from new eden or not what does rust have to do with all this the only thing that's clear is that you have to be on guard also another thing what happens how does this generator work i can interact with it do i just have to throw some throw some fill it with gasoline for all the connected workbenches and furniture to work i guess i don't technically have to power anything right now so i'm just gonna like leave this be i'm not gonna fill it up with anything for the time being but definitely noted that we've got that ready to go and then we gotta speak to the messengers there's like a messenger from new eden all right if we're meeting a messenger definitely want to have my freshest pair of pantalones on all right listen I, I gotta have a good first impression right uh what is going on messenger boy follow me i will show you new eden hold up is it finally happening are we finally going to see new eden Dude, I don't think you understand how long the concept of New Eden has been getting thrown around in this game and all the mystery around it. A small settlement conveniently established at the river mouth. Is this New Eden? Dude. I, I, there's, is, is, is this it? Is this the New Eden? that we have been oh so waiting for? I mean, this is just called the Riverbend. Is this like a trap? Are we getting lured into a trap? Because we've literally heard New Eden referenced in multiple story missions, multiple seasons in the past. It seems like some sort of utopia that keeps on getting teased. And uh, the National Park. What, what is going on here? Find out who these people are. Yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to hear who these people are. What, what new location did we just unlock? They got guns, that's for sure. What's up, dude? How's it going, Mr. Kalashnikov, man? Uh, he's just, uh, he just, he's just guarding things, I guess. Dude, this is a location we saw teased like half a year ago. Wait, is this what I think it is? If we go ahead and zoom out, I, I can't zoom out. Oh, I wanted to see this in all of its beauty. Yeah, this is that settlement we saw on the river. Blessed day, it's good to see you among us. Among us? What's going on? We're helpers, helping each and every one. Help us. And we'll help you. Are these the cultists? They don't seem culty. Your help is a gift for us. Ask the kind people what they need. I have a bad feeling about all this. I'll look around. You be careful. And we gotta help three missionaries. There's one back here, I think. May the gods help you. Find me some spare parts for my car. There you go. Happy to help. Are you gonna tell me, like, thank you? Thanks. Lucky you're here. Yeah. Even the music is all, like, mysterious and stuff. Also, isn't this literally the music from, like, Rust Legacy for anyone who played Rust back in the day? In, like, the OG version? This sounds like it. Can I loot their stuff or will they get mad at me? Uh... I don't know. With your prayers! Find me some fabric. Are you sitting on some fabric? Maybe that'd be convenient. <laughs> Just to be like, here you go. Maybe? Nah, it can't be that easy. Maybe there's like some inside or something. Otherwise, I'll, I'll go and grab some. Anyways, okay, so we need some fabric. What do you need over here? Everything's created with their hands. I need planks. I need one more. I am one plank short. Bruh, are you kidding me? There better be like one more plank somewhere because I don't want to leave here to go and I have to find a plank. Like, I'll, I'll locked from the other side. Okay, so we can't even go there. Mysterious uh, doorway. Cages with blood inside of them. I'm getting a weird feeling about this, man. I don't know about you. But, uh... I think things are gonna get, like, a little bit weird here soon. Can I open up this door or is this locked, too? That's locked, too. 
Hmm. All right, my friend, here you go. Got some planks for you. The gods sent her to us. Uh, thank you. And he'll get to building up that bridge. There's got to be something on the other side of that. And here you go. Yeah, that's, that's what I need right now. Thank you. Nope, no problem, gilly man. Uh, let's go and speak to the missionaries. I've helped you. Will you help me now? Or is this like a... This is a suspicious... Suspicious camera angle. Who's the man in the suit? Is he like the cult leader? They create justice with their hands. Their power is the only thing that helps us rid of the disagreeable, free-thinking heretics. We have yet another heretic here today. We'll destroy him in honor of the Enlighteners. Bury the fool. Oh, Rust just marked that dude, and we are getting we, The entire village is attacking us. Ah! Okay, so Rust is a good guy. Rust, explain, please. They're not who they say they are. They don't help people. I thought you were with them, dude. No. No, we definitely are not. What the heck? There's a sniper in the house, and as long as he's alive, we can't win. Sneak into the house through the back door and deal with him. All right. I'll do that. What back door? Oh. We got to find the sniper. We got to go through, like, the sketchy basement they were talking about. Oh, there's some of the parts. All right, I'll take that. Little, little refund for the parts I had to sacrifice. <laughs> Didn't get a refund on the fabric, but you know what? That's all right. And this thing's called True Face. I did, did, did. What the heck is going on? We're everywhere. We're omniscient. We're omnipresent. You'll meet us again. Yeah, I don't know about that, yo. You better drop your gun. That's a really nice sniper you got. He didn't drop a darn thing. Oh, are you kidding me? That would have been awesome. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. Not gonna lie. All right, what's going on here, though? Uh, a little bit parts. I'll take those. Let's, uh... He barricaded the door, dude. Can't even get out of that. All right, well, this thing just teleports us there. I'll take that. And, uh, see what's going on with you two. They claim to be the saviors from New Eden, but what they actually do is kidnap people and sell them. I used to be one of them. Dude, I didn't know what they were up to. Yeah. We should report it to our guys and think everything over. Not sure what to do with you, Rust. It's not easy to trust you. Dude, I couldn't care less about your trust. I have better things to do than standing here talking to you, Murphy. And he's off. We're off our own separate ways and we must return to the settlement. Okay, really quickly, can I finish repairing this? There's like a gear icon here. I feel like... That's very open-ended, and we're gonna have to come back here at some point and, like, repair that bridge. Whatever it is, so, okay. Are these the real people of New Eden? Or are they, like, pretending to be from New Eden? To gain people's trust and then kidnapping them? I don't entirely know. But whatever it is, that was a freaking kidnapping circle that we just saw. And I, th I think we might have eliminated them. Now, here's the thing. Does that mean New Eden itself is actually evil? Or is it just like these random people pretending to be New Eden? I don't know. There's a lot of open ends here that we definitely got to get to the bottom of. But it does not appear like that's a permanent location, which is a little bit upsetting, man. That would have been a great addition to have over there. You know, and maybe like once you travel back to it, you know, people will keep on coming back. Although, not like there was really any loot here. But, I mean, it'd be pretty cool if like, you know, all those people actually dropped, uh, like dropped the weapons they were holding on to and stuff like that. I don't know. I think that'd be pretty cool. But does not look to be the case at this very moment. But let's see what the next step in this mission is. I think we're all dying to know. We gotta speak to Tucker. Tucker, my boy. Oh, we got a hello. Answer me. What were you looking for in the command center messing with the computer? They're trying to... What were you doing in my settlement, huh? Some of yourself or I'll have to beat the truth out of you. What were you doing? Why you lost a daughter? Quit looking for her. You're not gonna like the truth. Bro, what's going on with this story? What did you just say? I'll blow your head off! Oh! Pal right in the kisser! Morph, we wanted to question him! Yeah, I wanted to question him too. I didn't mean to. Turned out to be a frail one. Dang. Yeah, he just disintegrated his body. So... The people... Uh, so they still exist. That was only a small section of them. So is the entirety of New Eden actually evil? And why, why were they snooping around our command center? Dude. This has me excited for the future of the settlement and how the storyline's gonna intertwine into this because like, uh, so whatever's going on with New Eden, man. Seems crazy. We need to prepare better if we want to fight on equal terms. We better figure out what they're planning so we can attack first. I'll go get some air. We'll talk later. And that, I believe, we have just finished act number two in its entirety. I'll be claiming that reward. Thank you very kindly. And uh, a very open-ended end 
to the story so far. I mean, if, if, if what they said at the end is any indication of what to expect, though, it sounds like we might be going to war with New Eden. We have to build up our settlement to prepare for those battles. This, for lack of better words, is gonna be awesome. The unfortunate part, I have no idea how long we gotta wait for Act 3 to kick in, but Act 3 is next, and it appears like a big part of it's gonna have to do with the boat, which, I don't know, man. If y'all know about the boat, and y'all know the direction that the boat goes, I mean, you know, kinda like Act 1 is centered around a, a lot around building up the chopper and ultimately introduce you to like the army bunker and he actually introduced you to how to kind of like start building a chopper act two the icon is a minivan and it introduced you to the whole concept of you know build you know building your minivan and using it in the settlement and for the next one the image is the boat now here's the thing i've already built the boat but that makes me think that the next act is going to have a lot to do in the northern zones and it's gonna help you build the boat if you haven't built it yet. So it's gonna have a lot to do. So I, I, I think the next act, I think the next act by the sounds of it, man, might have to do largely with the port, potentially with the oil rig. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll involve finally unlocking the submarine up in the north. Cause it says technically it claims you need the chopper to get up to the oil rig, but I don't necessarily know how true that is. Maybe we'll be able to like take the submarine there. Or maybe it'll just get added as like another location you can get to by boat and maybe it'll encompass unlocking this whole new northern area or maybe there's actually like a train like a underwater subway tunnel system that leads there because if you guys recall down in floor three of the port laboratory there is like a trolley that you can repair and like some sort of subway system so there's a few kind of open ends that the the kind of boat icon leading me to believe but whatever it is i think that the next act is gonna have a lot to do with the northern zones, the giant lake slash sea, and potentially a whole new landmass on the other side of things. But with that, I can't believe I'm saying this. We have completed act number two, ladies and gentlemen, and I don't know if we saw New Eden or if we were just introduced to it, but by the sounds of it, that was not just a random splinter group. The way that this is going, I literally think New Eden is evil they're running some sort of kidnapping ring and not just that there was some sketchy dialogue at the end where murphy's daughter that he's going after who he lost a while ago right what is the sound of that is someone doing target practice back there anyways though murphy's daughter right yeah it's some target practice keep her going can you use that sniper when i take you out on expeditions you're always using a crossbow how about the op but nah man he said he, the guy at the end said you're not gonna like the truth to Murphy so I wonder if that means that like what if his daughter actually grew up and became like the leader of New Eden I don't know man the way things are shaping up I could definitely see that being the case but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls there you have it our introduction to power our completion of the story and just like really quickly here now that we have power, also, wait, can we hook up the power to this generator? How's that work? It says that a connection is required for the substation. We're definitely going to, I'm definitely going to try to get this thing repaired. I should have most of these parts. Actually, we got to get the slate, which is made in the molder. Where do we get the molder? Well, I mean, there, there's so many, like so many resources we're going to have to get to freaking working towards here. Getting more sheaves, iron billets, slates, aluminum cables and all that. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Is that going to be available in some of the new rooms? Yeah, probably like the assembly. Probably some of these are going to be. All right. Well, those are going to be the next buildings that we build up. It seems like these are going to require like power and water in order to have them go. How do I? Uh, we got to finish building the water pump. Okay. And then we got to finish building the water pump, which I think is this thing down here that can be repaired. Yeah, the water pump. So we're going to have to repair this, which is going to require iron parts made in the lathe, uh, light frame, iron sheets, resin. Goodness gracious. We can only find that during expeditions. So that's even more rare. Some iron pipes made in the pipe rolling machine. So we've definitely still got quite a lot of improvements to be making to the settlement. And we'll definitely be doing that. Um, is there any new workbenches that I could make here in like the wood workshop? I mean, there's like the log holder to hold logs. We actually could build that right now with some rope. 
How about, uh, for the wood shop? Uh, that is exactly what I just pressed. What about for the foundry, I should say, an anvil? We are getting some more iron billets and some aluminum plates to get that going. Uh, how are the iron billets doing here? Uh, they're cooking. They are definitely cooking. Let's make sure that we got plenty of iron planks up in there doing their thing. We want as many billets as possible. Actually, is this gonna be enough billets for us to, uh, potentially craft up? That next level of the anvil, that is just enough. So if we get a little bit of aluminum, okay. A little bit of good news, we actually have some aluminum right here. Uh, that is gonna be absolutely perfect for us to uh, take advantage of, to go ahead and craft the very next thing uh, for our foundry. And we can go ahead, this appears to be a much, much smaller, like a little one by one. Uh, I'll throw that in this corner, man. Why not? Or is that the corner that I have the door in? I actually completely forgot. But anyways, we'll go ahead and throw that down, see what the anvil's capable of, try to get that thing, uh, you know, going on full. And then the log holder, we need some pine beams and some rope. I should have some pine beams, but those some pine beams should have processed by now, I just gotta get some rope. Oh, also, we should have some pine beams. Yo, no! We didn't, okay, maybe I took them out and I didn't realize, but like, I, I thought I had pine beams in the pallet so they would like look all cool like that. I, d I don't remember if I took them out to build something or if they they, they just like disappeared. I, I am actually not sure about that. Regardless, we're gonna have to build some more pallets, some barrels and carts to get that leveled up to the next level. We'll work on, and I mean, ultimately we gotta level up the wad level two before any of these things get upgraded. But uh, let's really quickly grab the last few. Oh, we've got quite a few pine beams actually. Uh, get that thing cooking a little bit. And then let's go and build up the log holder as well. Uh, I think just throwing it in this corner should work just fine. Uh, that doesn't actually do anything. It just appears to be decorative, but also a decorative thing that we need to progress this up to level two. So we just need to get the wall up to level two to upgrade that building. And then we are going to need anything else we need here. Uh, no, we just got to get the wall up to level two to actually be able to upgrade both of our things here. The storehouse needs a few extra things. So, okay. So really quickly, that brings me to my next question. What the heck is it, uh, going to take to upgrade this wall? It's going to take a lot of billets and a lot of pine beams, so I'm gonna make sure that those things are processing absolutely 100% capacity. Probably by next episode, we'll be able to go ahead and upgrade the wall up to level two and then have some upgraded storerooms and stuff. But also, uh, we do have to get to building our next few buildings in the form of the assembly and uh, the, what's the other building over here? The workshop as well. Oh, those are gonna be some expensive things. That's right, man. We will do just fine. Oh, and really quickly, can I interact with the anvil or is that also a decorative piece? That is a decorative piece. Also, it is blocking the doorway that I thought was here, so I am not crazy. I do have a doorway there. Uh, really quickly, I'm going to reorganize things a little bit. I'll go ahead and throw the anvil in that corner, man. Why not? That's a, that's a nice corner. That's a pretty corner for the anvil. There you go. Uh, make sure that this thing's still chugging along full speed ahead. Got all the power that it might need. And all right. These are gonna be the two workbenches that we're gonna have uh, chugging along, trying to get as much loot as possible. We're gonna have to do plenty of expeditions, so we'll be doing some of those. Long story short, man, we are gonna be busy, <laughs> busy, busy bees. Especially because, yeah, we gotta craft the cart and barrels. What's it gonna take to build those up here? If we just go over to the storehouse to level this up to the next level. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take quite a few. The pallets are pretty cheap, not worried about that. Barrels, I mean, yeah, we got more than enough rubber hose for that. Billets are gonna be the only thing stopping us from the cart, but we should be fine on that part. So it was, the three buildings we've got so far should be pretty easy to get up to level two. Uh, but we also need billets and this freaking slate to get this upgraded. But I don't even know when we'll directly need this. I don't know, time will tell, long story short. We've got a lot of building ahead of us, a lot of upgrading to get to doing, and a lot of expeditions as well. So that is all stuff that we will be getting into in the next episode of Last Day on Earth. Because with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.